Hey, I'm Heather Lutte from Findability University, and I'm here with Alex Lewis, a merchant here at Gorn Brothers Hats. Thank you for uh, letting us interview you today. Yeah, not a problem, Heather. So tell me a little bit about this wonderful business you have. So Gorn Brothers is a family-owned company. Uh, it was started back in 1895 in Pittsburgh, and then in 1949, the family moved from Pittsburgh to San Francisco, and so our home office is in San Francisco. We have about 33 shops between here and Canada. Um, this location has been on has been on Lammer Square since uh, 2005 ish. We've been here about seven years, so that would make it what 2010. Okay. Um, and yeah, we, uh, we try and hat the world one person at a time. I love it, I love it. I like trying to make a business findable yeah. one person at a time. So tell me about how do you get business right now? So right now we do have a website, uh, goran.com, and uh, we get a lot of traffic on the website, a lot of web orders, um, but a lot of it is kind of just word of mouth. Um, we have people who walk down the block here and uh, they see, oh, a hat store, and you know, that's, right. something, that's something of a novelty these days. Right. And so uh, we'll just get people coming in off the street and uh, coming in and trying on hats and uh, and yeah, that's it's kind of something of a novelty these days. It is a really novelty. You don't see hat shops everywhere. Right, right, that's right. That's really cool. I, so let's take a look. At, I just have a quick, I run a quick report on your website, and as I could, I, I'm probably pretty sure that a 92 is an excellent score. It means that the website is very much in its best possible shape, and it's very respected by by search engines. So that's a great, great uh, takeaway from there. But what I was interested in looking at is the difference between hat shop and hat maker and how people search for the two phrases. Because I noticed on your, on, your, um, on your merchandise you say hat makers, and on your website you say hat shop. Right. So I was interested to see the difference. So hat maker gets, so 1,300 searches US uh, on a monthly basis. And then if we go to, there we go, hat shop, we've got 8,100 searches per month US. So one thing that's interesting is actually near me comes up number one. So one takeaway you could take back to your boss is make sure on your location page yeah. that you put a little paragraph saying, if you're looking for someone and a hat shop that's near you, we're happy to help you. Use the words like near me and near you, and then Google will pick up on that when someone's walking by and they're looking for a hat shop. That's good information, good feedback to kind yeah. of report. Well, and I also have a book for your, your boss, Find It Marketing Espionage. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time today. It's been just such a pleasure. Yeah, thank you, Heather. So you think you have a hat for me? I actually think I have one just for you. And what's, what, what style is this hat? So this is just a classic floppy brimmed fedora. Uh, it's called the County Line. All the hats in here have a name. And so this one's the County Line. And it goes on top just like that. We've got a peacock feather in the side right here. And Heather, you are styling. Thank you again, Alex. Not a problem. I think I found my perfect hat.